five and a bit years ago, I had a psychotic break. My experience was, of it was gradually losing the ability to think rationally, essentially, and getting caught up in all kinds of uh, delusions about myself and the nature of the world and things like that. I was in my first year of uni. I was heading towards the kind of finals month. I only had like one exam or something. The very initial delusional thought was that um, I would just combine my two final essays for my media and my film paper and turn them into one big kind of super essay. And so it, it just kind of fed and grew from there that I, that f initial kind of completely nonsensical idea just kind of snowballs and grows and starts bleeding out into the rest of your waking thoughts. Paranoia is a, uh, something that a lot of people kind of are familiar with. If you see two people talking at a bus stop and you can't hear what they're talking about, it's evidence to you that they're talking about you. So the paranoid conclusion would be that they're out to get me in some way. My conclusion was more that they know what's happening with me. I, d I don't even recall clearly what I thought was happening with me at this point, but they want to help with it somehow. Um, and that's pronoia, which is the delusion that people are secretly conspiring to help you. So it got to the point where I was just way, way out of my mind, you know, there was no kind of semblance of rational thought left. And um, I went to work in the morning and I just kind of, I had very strong, vivid delusions that everyone at work, this, from the staff down to the customers, was kind of in on this big thing, whatever it was. And then it just, yeah, they, the more they talked to me, the more they realized this guy's out of his gourd. You know, there's something seriously wrong here. Basically, that was when it became all kind of other people knowing, you know, yeah. They had to contact my parents and medical professionals and all that kind of stuff. The aftermath of that kind of intense dislocation from reality is where the actual kind of traumatic experiences start. And I'd, I'd catch myself thinking crazy thoughts and be like, hang on, that, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> what am I? And then gradually from that kind of just in the moment analysis of your thoughts, you gradually get the ability to think back and, you know, be like, whoa, I've been I've been insane for like a long time. <laughs> this is why I've started trying to use to myself the term psychotic break rather than psychotic episode because episode implies like a beginning and an end and then, you know, the episode's done, it's left behind. Whereas break to me has connotations of like an injury that you have to kind of treat and heal from. All, all I really can do is just not take drugs, not take psychoactive drugs anymore. Drug use, and especially the types of drugs that I had been using, were known to kind of have be correlated with, um, you know, trigger, bringing out these tendencies in people. And, you know, if your hobby is going to fuck you up to that extent, you should drop the hobby, you know. I think I am kind of on a, on a steady gradient, kind of up from uh, being really fucked up about this psychotic break. Ultimately, I've decided my goal is I want to be a counsellor, um, professionally. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I want to get myself in a space where that can happen, basically. In intense is, a, is probably the best word you could ever attach to a psychotic break. <laughs> Above all things, it's intense, yeah, definitely. 